Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn about the Jira automation smart values, right? So I've opened this documentation from a Jira Atlassian website. Okay. And then we'll go into the details of what all smart values or what exactly smart values first thing, and then how you are going to use smart values in Jira automation. So briefly, we have used smart value already, but let's see what all smart values are there. Okay. So when we say smart values in in Jira, they are simply if we go to the topic here, so they are the values that can be accessed. Okay, so here, if you see smart values allow you to access issue data within Jira. Okay, so, so for example, I want to access the issue key, the reporter, then I can use the smart value accordingly in the curly braces here. Okay, double curly braces. Say for example, issue dot key used to fetch me the key of the issue, right? So say for example, the number of the issue. Okay, and which we have already used in the Jira automation in some of the cases or issue dot summary will fetch the summary of the issue. Okay, so anything in double curly braces is basically the smart value and you have to specify whatever you want to fetch for that particular field. Now there are many smart values. So for example, smart values for the issues, projects, lists, and you will see the complete list of smart values that is being provided here. Okay. So for the project, for the list, for users, so for example, if I go to the users, I'll be able to fetch all the details for the user, right? So for example, assignee in double curly braces, assignee dot time zone or assignee dot reporter dot email address, assignee dot account ID, right? Or creator dot display name. Okay. Assignee dot display name will fetch the name, the display name of that particular assignee whomsoever the issue is being assigned okay so the this is the documentation that you should be basically referring to for learning the smart value if you want to use any of the smart value in your automation so i'll also post the link for this particular documentation right this is from the official classian website and you can see what all smart values are available and you can use those okay so now let's quickly go ahead and see how we are going to use these smart values in one of our rule okay so i'll go to the project here and let's go to the same project right so we have already used a smart value uh, issue dot key already in one of the rule let's use some of the more smart values okay so if say for example issues transition then we'll do a comment okay so let's create a quick rule in this particular project so i'll go to the project settings and in the automation we'll create a rule and i'll say transition okay so issue transition and as soon as the issue is transition say for example to in progress okay just a dummy rule i want to put an action there and in the action i want to just a create a comment where we'll use the smart values okay so we'll say comment on issue okay now in the smart value we simply need to provide the smart value what is the format of providing the smart value double curly braces right now if i want to simply put the key right or i want to see what is the issue key okay i want to put the issue key so i'll say issue or i'll say issue number is colon and then issue dot key okay if we go to the smart value here and go to the issues so you'll see issue dot key will fetch the key of that particular issue and issue dot summary will fetch the summary of the issue okay and then let's say issue summary is okay and then i'll put issue dot summary so this will fetch me the key of the issue okay whatever the number of the issue is this will fetch me whatever the summary of the issue was okay now say for example i also want to comment in the comment i also want to comment who is the assignee of this particular issue okay so assignee of this issue is okay so i want to comment who is the assignee so let's see what is the smart value to fetch the assignee right so you will get anything related to the users in the users right so smart values in the users so we'll say go to the users and here uh, we'll say assignee dot display name okay so assignee dot display name will fetch the name of the assignee okay so simply copy that and paste here okay 
now what else do we want to use here so display name we have used now let's say we get another assignee details so smart values in development let's see what is what are the smart values in the development okay we are just playing around okay let me accept this cookies this is kind of annoying uh this is more for the branch and stuff like that okay so that's fine we are not working with the branches at the moment so let's keep it simple and let's go to the let's go to the dates okay let's see if we can get the current date as well and there is a date right so now now we'll return the current date okay so current date and time in this particular format okay if we want to format it as well then we can format with the pattern that is shown in this particular table but let's put now as of now okay and then current date and time okay is so we'll just put the smart value now there okay so all of these this text will be printed and then against this column okay against uh, after the colon the key will be printed then the summary of the issue will be printed and assignee display name will be printed and the time will be printed okay and the comment will happen okay so simply save these details right so what rule we have created whenever any of the issue will be transitioned to in progress then a comment will be added okay and comment will be added with these smart values okay so whatever smart values that we have added automatically these values will be fetched from the issue or from the system time because we have used the time as well and then will be populated on the issue okay so let's name it as smart values demo the name of the rule and i'll leave it as who can edit to all admins and turn on this rule okay now the rule has been turned on now if we go back to the project right let's move some issue to in progress okay so at the moment there are no issues that are in to do so let me move some of the tasks say for example to to do right okay all of them are all right so we have moved two of the issues in to do again okay now in order to test this particular rule that we have created to comment okay we'll simply say for example move this particular test task into the in progress okay so the rule get should get triggered now okay and because the issue has been moved to in progress there should be a comment being made on this particular issue automatically with all the smart values that we have specified in the rule okay so if you see here yep so you'll see that the rule you'll see automation for jira user has commented that right and you'll see issue number is the number right issue dot key that we have specified okay and the issue summary is the test task right so after colon we have provided the smart value and that's where it has picked up the test task because the issue summary is test task right and the assignee of this issue is no one right it is unassigned okay so that is why this has been left blank and current date and time is whatever date and time was there when the comment was being made okay so this is how helpful the smart values are to use in your jira automation very very helpful and very important to understand the smart value concept and how you are going to use it okay now let's move this particular story as well okay now before i'll move this story i'll make sure that assi i'll assign this to myself okay so now there is an assignee so that the assignee field will also be populated okay so if i close this now and now i'll move this to in progress okay so now as soon as i'll move this particular issue to in progress the comment should have been made so if i'll open this particular issue now you will see that the comment has been made yes okay and you'll see issue number is there the issue number that is the number of this particular issue okay and the summary of the issue which is test story okay and then assignee of the issue is rcv tutorials which has been fetched from the assignee because we have used the smart value and it has been populated here and the current date and time has been populated right so this is the actual usage of the smart value and how you are going to use it in your automation rule okay so there is no sort of limit basically you can go ahead and explore this particular page get comfortable with all the smart values that are being provided here and try to use them and practice them so that you become comfortable in using them in your automation rule and then make your automation rules more efficient by using the smart values mostly it will be helpful in the comment section if you are sending emails etc 
uh, and then there are many other use case and scenarios wherein smart values are really really helpful when you are building your automation rules in jira cloud okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching